Welcome back. We're checking our DC polls for you. Getting a look at the top stories our DC Bureau is working on today. Students, parents, and colleges using the summer break now to debate if, when, and how to return to campus and class this fall while the coronavirus crisis continues. And as Washington correspondent Jesse Tenure reports, the Senate Health Education and Labor Committee held a hearing today on how best now to reopen these schools safely. We have never seen anything like this. Colleges are trying to figure out if and how they can return to campus this fall and prevent the further spread of COVID-19. Dr. Christina Paxton is president of Brown University. Brown will not open unless we can do so safely. Washington Senator Patty Murray worries there's still not enough testing. If our country remains at current le levels of testing, are colleges going to be able to keep students and employees and their communities safe. We're finally at about 400,000 tests today. We're not nearly at the 500,000 that we need to be. Dr. Georges Benjamin is executive director of the American Public Health Association. We will continue to have undetected broad community spread of COVID-19. Lawmakers also expressed concern for students and staff who are Hispanic, Black, or Native American and more at risk for serious complications from COVID-19. The president of Lane College asked for special financial help for historically black colleges and universities. And Nevada Senator Jackie Rosen says Congress still needs to help others. We really need relief for our dreamers and our student veterans. Indiana Senator Mike Braun says schools don't have to choose between reopening and keeping people safe. It's tamp down economies maybe unnecessarily we're able to do two things at once. Purdue University says students and staff will choose when to return to campus. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.